How's it going everyone? JakeXCX here, back on Forza Horizon 3 today. With episode 8, I believe, of the Ridiculous Tuned Car series. Um, it's been a while since I've done an episode on this. But we are going to jump right into it with a brand new episode, which is going to be episode 8, I believe. And as you can tell by the title and thumbnail, we are going to be jumping in this car right here when I can find it. There it is, the Ford Deluxe Coupe. Now it is currently sitting at D-Class 100, which is the lowest it can be, but we're gonna purchase this and completely upgrade it to the fullest. We're gonna ruin it if we can, um, not in a bad way. We're gonna just completely make this car absolutely bonkers, upgrade it to the fullest, max engine, everything you can think of, and we're gonna take it out for a spin. There it is, right, let us take this into the upgrade shop. It, oh, it looks as a body kit by the looks of it. Oh my goodness, we can slam it. We can slam it. I think we should give, let's do that. How much, 1,000 horsepower, how about that? That's the kind of upgrades I like. We go from 80 horsepower to 1,000 horsepower. That is a big, oh, that is a big horsepower increase. What else do we have? It has race tyres, that's okay. I believe everything else should be. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe it's not fully upgraded. 1,014 horsepower. That'll do for now. Right, let's find a nice little paint job for this. Unfortunately, can't find many that stand out. We might just have to go with the basic fire one. Let's find one. We'll go with that. I mean, it's something simple. It makes it look ridiculous, and that's the point of this series. Now, let's take this for a spin. Oh my goodness, that has some kick to it, right off the line, I'm going to do that again. This is like a rocket, here we go, you ready? Look at that shoot off the line, that's interesting that. Right, while we're here, I want to go over to this driver tar. Not sure what he's doing over here. Come here, lanky gamer. Here we are, he's in the Aerial Nomad. Hard difficulty. That's not very good. Let's ram him off the road. Urgh. Come here. Oh well, let's just beeline it across. Don't roll. Oh, we're rolling. It's alright, we're in the lead though. Where is he? I can't even see him. We win though. Easy win. 60,000 credits in the bank. Right, I'm going to look for a quick race to do. I believe I need to finish these up here. Yep, this exhibition. We're going to do this exhibition up here. It's a lapped race. Hopefully we can win in this 1,000 horsepower Ford, some kind of 1968 thing. Right, we're against some other hot rods and custom vehicles here. Jump in this. I doubt any of them can compare to this 1,000 horsepower car. So I'm going to put the difficulty on unbeatable, if it's not already on unbeatable. Right, let's check real quick. Yes, unbeatable, thought it was. Right, let's get straight into this. No hesitation. We are going to win. Oh my god. Already first place. That was not difficult. This car is mental. I mean, granted, they are right behind us, but this is on unbeatable difficulty. And I'm not even trying! Looks like I am going to have to try, because that jump screws me over. There we go. I didn't realise that this was mostly an off-road race. And we're still winning. This hasn't even got off-road tyres. Interior view. Here we go. High-speed bumpy corners and stuff. Ooh! First lap, that was incredibly easy, especially for unbeatable difficulty. They're only just finishing the first lap. This is what you get when you tune a ridiculous car and go in a race with it. You absolutely dominate. Usually, there's one, usually on unbeatable difficulty, there's one guy in front which is in, almost impossible to catch, or at least very difficult. And at this race, he's miles behind me. This is 
Wicked. If you ever want to easily win all of your career races, jump in this bad boy and go against the same opponents that I chose. This car is actually really impressive considering it's not supposed to be 13 times the horsepower it was at stock. There we go. Across the line in 2 minutes and something seconds. The guy in second hasn't even finished yet. There he is. 7 second lead. We've got this race here. This is a sprint race. So this will tell us if this car is also rather decent when it's, you know, got its foot down most of the time. I'll prove to you once again that this is on unbeatable difficulty and I did not edit a thing. I'm not going to cut the screen at all. See, we're loading in here with the same type of cars that we were just against, which is, means we should win. I'm on pop it up, difficulty, unbeatable. I'm on pretty much max settings. We've got this on unbeatable, this on off. We've got steering on simulation, traction and stability control off, a manual with clutch, driving line full. That shouldn't be on that. I don't know, don't know why that's like that. And pretty much nearly everything. But anyway, we're going to jump straight into it. Here we go. Come on. We're right behind first place here. Got a long hill. Oh, yes. Right into the lead. Goodbye, second place. This is incredibly easy. I think this is where I got the world record, I believe. Is it? Yes, it is. Down here, there's a speed camera down here, and I had the world record at some point. I don't believe I'm the world record holder anymore, but I still think I've got the fastest time in the Koenigsegg. Everybody else above me, I'm pretty sure, did it in the uh, Lamborghini. Anyway, we're already halfway through this race. And we're not having any troubles at all. Whoa, we're sliding, we're sliding a bit. We're sliding a bit. We're alright. We're alright. We are still very easily in second, uh, first place, sorry. For unbeatable, this is incredibly easy. And to be honest, for a car that's not supposed to be a thousand horsepower more than it is stock, this car is also rather good as well. There we go, we had a five second lead there, nearly as good as the other match. But wow, make sure everyone to leave suggestions in the comments down below of, of what car you think I should take onto the road, upgraded to the fullest. A ridiculous car. L look through my other episodes of this series and you'll see that I've just done bonkers cars. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this eighth episode of this series. Leave a like down below if you have and comment down below your suggestions for the next episode. But anyway, subscribe if you're new guys. Hope you all have a nice day and I will see you lot later.